Hello everyone, this is part three of our guided project on land cover analysis. So far, we have built a script where we have extracted the, the geometry of a particular admin two region. We have also extracted the land cover image for 2020 from the ESA world cover collection, and we have clipped it and displayed it on the map. So this is what the image looks like right now. We have the land cover image for a given region. Let's say you want to export this to your computer and maybe you want to do some analysis on your computer. So you want to export this. So let's export this data. So uh, we'll write an export function. Earth Engine has uh, export function that can export this data to either your Google Drive, your cloud storage account. Google provides you with a Google cloud storage account where you can export large amounts of data. Uh, you can also export it as an asset. That means you can, it'll go back to this assets tab and it'll be stored in the Earth Engine. This is useful where you've done some very complex analysis and you want to save your results and you want to reuse that in the next script. For now, we're just going to use uh, export this to uh, Drive. Once you write this function, Earth Engine provides this autocomplete. You can do control space, which is going to fill all the parameters for you. And uh, there's an easy way to specify each parameters instead of specifying them as positional argument. That means just you know giving what image, what description, what folder, you can give them as a dictionary. So I'm gonna start the dictionary and I'm gonna fill in each parameter. This is a much easy way to specify only the parameters that you need. And also it's much more readable and understandable. So we'll say the image that we wanna export is this clipped image. The description uh, will should provide a description that will appear in my task tab. So if I have multiple tasks, I can discern which one is running, which one is finished, and so on. We'll just say export image draw. Uh, this is a raw image. I'll explain what that is, but we'll explain. Uh, we'll first export this. The folder. Uh, this is the folder that will go in your Google Drive. If you don't specify this, it'll go to the, the root of your Google Drive. I typically don't want my Google Drive cluttered with Earth Engine exports. So I always send it to this one particular folder where I'll find my Earth Engine export. File name prefix, the images will have the extension .tiff. So the prefix will be whatever you want to name that file. Uh, we'll just name it uh, classification. I'll just name it classification, let's put raw. Uh, dimension, we don't need to specify. Region, we must specify. Even though we have clipped it to the region we want, in the export function, you should always specify the region. So the region is a geometry. Scale is at what resolution you want to export. The native resolution of this data set is 10 meters. We'll export this as 10 meters. Uh, if you specify a different value, your image will be resampled to that particular um, uh, scale. CRS, uh, you can specify a particular CRS that you want to export it as. You can choose to export it in UTM, etc. You can also leave it as a default projection, uh, which will be the projection of the first band of the image. So we'll just leave it to the default one. Max pixels, uh, if your data set is ex that you're trying to export is very large, it's more than a million pixel, which is the default limit, you can increase this limit. I always uh, increase it to at least 1 in 10, which is a very large number, so I never hit that limit. And rest of the parameters are optional, so I'm just going to close my dictionary. So now I have this function, which will now take this image and export it to my drive. As I run my script, you'll see this task tab light up, and I have this task. I'm going to click run and start my export. Okay, the export might take a few minutes. Uh, I did an export just before. Uh, I started recording this video. So you can see that finished in six minutes. So I'm going to cancel this one and I'm going to show you the result of uh, what that exported data looks like. So here I am in QGIS. I have downloaded the exported data from my Google Drive. And this is, uh, we exported this as a file called classificationraw.tiff. So here is the data uh, that is a GeoTIFF file that is on my computer. And you can see this uh, looks exactly like what we saw in Earth Engine. And if I identify the pixel value, they also have the pixel value that was there in Earth Engine. 
uh, this is uh, exported as a palleted raster. That means pixel has the original pixel values. And since we had the palette specified, it's, it will uh, be exported with those palette. So this type of export is useful where you want to take this data and do further analysis on that. So uh, if I just visualize this as a single band gray, and you'll see that now each uh, pixel value is just uh, a different uh, number, which is now associated with a color if you do a palleted raster. But this is a raster data that you can now take and analyze it further. This is what most users would want, where you want to export this data to, for further analysis. Let's say you want to export this data for a presentation. You want to embed this image into a presentation or you want to post it on the social media. Uh, in that case, you don't want uh, a raw GeoTIFF file like this. What you'd want is a colorized uh, raster where you just get an RGB image that you can put it. Uh, so we'll, I'll, I'll also show you how to do that next. So back in the script, now we'll export uh, this image as a visualized raster. So instead of just uh, exporting this image like this, if you call dot visualize, this function will take the image and apply the default visualization parameters, which is the, will create a colorized image that appears in the screen. But instead of exporting as a one band palleted raster, it's gonna export a three band RGB image. So this type of data is suitable just for visualization where you want to embed in a presentation or uh, send it to somebody who doesn't need to do further analysis on that. And if, uh, in this case, we'll just name this as visualized and run the export. Okay, we can run the export to download this data. I've already done this, let me show you and we'll compare both the results side by side. So here is a raw export where the pixel values are the, the original pixel values. Uh, I'm gonna load the visualized data and you can see the visualized data uh, is a color image and it's also a multi-band image. So if I inspect the pixel value, you can see it's got three bands red, green, and blue, and they've got some values. So each of those pixel values have a color value instead of the raw pixel value. So this data is not suitable for any further analysis, but it's useful if you just want to uh, uh, create an image out of it. So here we have completed our script three. Uh, here we learned how to write an export function that can export your clipped image to a computer, both as a raw image and also as a visualized image. So I'll see you in the next script where we'll extract a specific class of pixels and convert it to vector and then export them as a vector data.